The thing I like about academia is that feeling of quiet. When you've worked all day on something, thinking hard about something, it's like the still lake. You know, I just love that feeling, you know, and it's very opposite of being on stage, but it's very similar to writing music, you know. When you're in music, you're just, you just disappear, you know, you're just ears. My name is Steve Perry, and I am the singer and songwriter of the Cherry Pop and Daddies, and also a graduate of the University of Oregon, and my degree is in molecular biology. I applied to like three or four colleges, but Oregon seemed like, that's cool, I, I don't know what that is. And while I was studying, you know, I would make lists on the side of my paper, like, oh, I gotta get this record, I gotta get that record, I gotta, you know, kind of started pulling me apart. So then we dropped out of school and worked at, at uh, you know, like restaurants, washing dishes, all sorts of weird little jobs around town that left us time to play music. You know, so we, we called ourselves the Cherry Poppin' Daddies, put it on the poster. Cherry swing band from Eugene, Oregon, Cherry Poppin' Daddy. All of a sudden we were you know, selling 60,000 records a week. It's like, what? I was kind of at this point where I didn't want to be on the road and I didn't want to be that person anymore. I wanted to have a life. I woke up in a cold sweat, literally. What am I going to do with myself, you know? I went, you know, why don't you walk down to the university? I got an appointment. I said, this is really silly and I'm, this is really stupid and you could just kick me out of your office right now, but here's my thought. What I'd like to do is kind of take up where I left off and pretty soon I started to understand what was going on and I did better than I thought I was going to do and you get taken into the story and the research and everything that's happening and you realize how exciting it is. I mean it's just as exciting as music if not more. You could see the biology sort of revolution happening. I mean Frank Stahl taught my 101 genetics class. I remember he, was, he would like Xerox the pages of you know his own notes for, because it was no book you know it was exciting you know you realized what was going to happen you know but Oregon has some departments here that are fantastic with a long history and this is one of them. <laughs> 